Om Shanti. Good morning. Today is 13th August 2023. Baba's Avyakta Murli. Morning Murli. It is a revised date 6th April 1995. So original uh, Murli was spoken by Sri Baba on 6th April 1995. The essence of today's Murli. Uh, Baba says, become conquerors of Maya by being embodiment of the awareness of the spiritual personality of purity. So today's Murli, Baba has given some different definition of conqueror of Maya. How to become conqueror of Maya? Baba says, you should have that much of power of purity that from a very far distance, Maya will know it and she will not dare to attack you. But that personality, Baba says, it should be in your awareness. You have to keep it immersed in your intellect uh, because uh, Baba is making the soul as pure as he is. Now in confluence age. So Baba says that power of purity is reflected throughout this cycle in on your forms. But now in confluence age, you have to keep it immersed in your intellects. So we we'll listen to Baba. Baba says today, Baba, the ocean of love is seeing all his loving children everywhere. Baba says over, all over the world, whoever is remembering Baba and listening to Baba, Baba also sees all those children. Baba says he is seeing the sparkle of spiritual personality in the image of each loving child. Externally, you are those who have ordinary personalities, but you are number one in spiritual personality. Baba says in appearance, you are uh, ordinary one, but Baba says your spiritual personality is number one. So see, this is certified by God himself. Baba says all types of personalities are remembered in the world. Now Baba is talking about a, a physical personality of a human beings in the world. Baba says there are the personalities of physical bodies, the personality of particular speciality and the personality of special positions. But what is the personality on the faces and in the activities of all of you children? Baba, is, Baba says, just check your stage. Baba says, the personality of purity, huh? what is the personality of purity? You check it. Huh? it. It is in our form, in our activities, huh? in our character. Baba says, purity is a personality. The purer someone is, not only is that one's personality visible, but it is also experienced by others. So Baba says the personality of purity is not only visible huh, from, it is not reflected in your uh, appearance, but it is experience also. So Baba says, are those of you able to experience your spiritual personality? Has there been any other personality similar to yours from the golden age until now? Huh, so much intoxication Baba, has, Baba is giving today. Baba says, go around the whole cycle and see if there is any such personality. There, there isn't, Baba says, is there? You have the intoxication of your spiritual personality. Baba is asking, have you? You should have that much of intoxication. Baba says, externally too, in the supreme award, the personality of your special soul is the most elevated. <coughs> now, Baba is narrating our personality from the uh, supreme award to the last uh, um, our position in this cycle. So first Baba has narrated our stage in the abode, at, in our home. Baba says even though all the souls are sparkling lights, the sparkle of you souls have a spiritual personality is lovely and unique compared to those of others. So in, in, in our soul world also, there is a tree of souls. Now, uh -huh, after this destruction, all souls will go home. So Baba says, you children become pure, as, as pure as Baba. So our sign in our home is also, Baba says, unique. 
compared to other souls, means those who are not Brahmi now in confluence age, Baba says their power is not so much sparkle uh, like you souls. So Baba says uh -huh, it is our original stage. Baba says original form. Baba says bring the personality of your eternal form into your awareness. Has it come into your awareness? So we have to check, we have to visualize that initially, originally, how the soul was uh, in Supreme Award. Baba says, can you see it? You are visible to Bap Dada in your spiritual personality. Can you see yourself go into your eternal form? Baba says, not outer, eternal form. In how much time are you able to do this? How long would it take you to go there? So Baba says, huh? Uh, just Baba is make, uh, just making this uh, drill. How much time you are uh, taking to go to home and see your personality? Baba says less than a second. Or do you want a day or an hour? In less than a second, you can go wherever you want. So have you seen the personality of your eternal form? Baba says now from your eternal form, go into your original form. Have you entered that form? Uh, so step by step, all forms, Baba is just, Baba, is, Baba says just you have, you emerge it, that uh, in that stage how your uh, power was there, how the power of soul was there. Baba says, have you entered that form or are you still doing it? You have reached that form. So from your eternal form to your original form, Look at your spiritual personality, how elevated your personality is. Means in golden age, Baba says, huh? check your personality. In terms of the body, of the mind, of wealth and of the relationship. So deities, Baba says, the soul was powerful. So the body was also like that, Sato Pradhan. Soul is Sato Pradhan, body is also Sato Pradhan. Accordingly, Baba says, wealth was also there. Uh, too much wealth, uh, full of everything, and in relationship also harmony. So all types of personalities are so elevated. You are looking at your original personality now. Baba says you appear so beautiful. You are decorated so well, and each of you is an embodiment of happiness, peace, love, and bliss. Well, in the golden age. So Baba says, there you are decorated with her jewelries, real jewelries. And you are very happy there. You are peaceful there. You are loveful, blissful huh? with each and everybody. So look at your personality of beginning. Baba says, have you seen it? Can you see it clearly? Or is it that it is now 5,000 years ago and you are therefore not able to see it clearly? Because Baba says, before 5,000 years, you were like that. Uh, real Baba says you are deities. So it is clear to all of you, you are all clever Baba says. So you have seen your beginning too. Now come into the middle period. What is your personality in the middle period? Your non-living images are worshipped and remembered so accurately. No matter how many religious souls, great souls or great leaders, with such personalities are remembered compared to the personalities of your non-living images, their personalities are nothing, Baba says. Huh? Whatever the personality of those souls will be, that great souls, leader, whatever may be, Baba says. But your images are so powerful, Baba says, that is worshipped by them also. So you are worshipped so accurately, but is any religious soul or great soul worshipped as accurately in the same way? Is any prime minister or president or any Mahatma, any saint, they are not worshipped like you deities, Baba says. Have you ever seen it? Baba says, is anyone else decorated in the same way as your non-living images? So much of jewelry is still there. Uh, just decorating. So even in the middle period, the speciality of the personality of purity of you souls is so elevated. Baba says uh, all forms, why such personality? It is only due to the personality of purity. So have you seen your images? 
are you worshipped or not or are just the seniors worshipped and you are not so somebody may have just uh, created some thoughts that is why baba is saying uh, that only seniors dadis dadas they are worshipped you are not worshipped baba is asking baba says are these temples to the double foreigners they were baba is baba is now also uh, just encouraging double foreigners have you seen if your images are in them in those temples or in those images or are you just saying that you must be in the in uh, there because you have heard this huh? baba says uh, they must be thinking that uh, we are foreigners we are not in india so the images may be of indian souls only that's why baba is clearing uh, for them also baba says do you have this memories so your middle period is also extremely elevated baba says now in your first last birth sorry which is the brahmin birth in which you have died alive we are died from this old world so baba says look how great your personality is you are praised so much even today it is only brahmins in name who carry out any elevated task baba says that physical brahmins they are Uh, carrying out all tasks in your names, you real Brahmins, Bra, you children of Brahma. So Baba says, although the Brahmins of today are no longer Brahmins in their activities, because Baba knows everywhere what type of Brahmins nowadays. So Baba says, but are just Brahmins in name. It is because of your name and your personality that they are still praised as being elevated today. so the personality of brahmin life is so elevated eternally at the beginning in the middle period and also at the end your personality throughout the cycle has always been great so baba says you just keep it immersed in your intellect ha uh, that much uh, uh, your purity uh, from starting to the end baba says why it is only due to the purity of the soul if the name of anyone with a worldly personality is mentioned it would be mentioned in some special book baba says in this world if somebody is having some personality their name will be mentioned in some special book baba ke such and such but what is your name mentioned in it is not mentioned in any ordinary book it is mentioned in the scriptures Baba says, whose activities, praise, and stories are there in the scriptures that have been created from the beginning? The names of those with worldly personality are mentioned in the special books, whereas you are praised in the scriptures. Baba says, not only written, you are praised in the scriptures, and people give so much regard to the scriptures. They look after the scriptures very accurately. They see them as things. to be worshiped ha huh? ha uh, they are in fact also worshiping we have seen as is those who are the true devotees keep the scriptures according to the system and also read them they do not keep the scriptures like ordinary books therefore keep the personality of your purity emerge in your awareness do not keep it merge and think and think if anyone baba says in this it is us let the awareness of it emerge in those whose intellects the awareness has emerged it is a basis of power baba says can maya <coughs> come where is where there is power it is impossible for maya to come to a powerful soul baba says maya cannot come there is no need to labor huh? labor means to we have to fight with maya and we have to win over maya baba says uh, there is no question of it it is maya's duty to come but according to the time it is not your duty to chase her away baba says there is no time this is the last episode uh, this is the murli of 1995 but baba says really now it is the very uh, very last time it should not be that maya comes and you chase her away no baba says there is no time your duty is to become constant conqueror of maya very important line 
Baba says, are you conquerors of Maya or those who chase Maya away again and again? Do you still have to chase her away when she comes to grant you a vision every now and then? It is not like this. Baba says, is it? Have the double foreigners chased Maya away for all times? Or do you still continue to chase her away? How is it? Has Maya gone away for all times? She will not come now, Baba says. We'll see. Huh? Baba is asking question and then Baba is also giving reply. Baba says, or does it not matter if she comes a little? After all, you have had her friendship for half a cycle. She is your friend. So will you leave her alone just like that so that she does not come again? You were told earlier that, uh, now a very important thing Baba is telling, before the end of time, you have to practice being conquerors of Maya over a long period of time. This will not be possible at the end. Baba says, if you have practice of being in, uh, in that stage, Baba says, that, can help, that will only help at last. Because at last, uh, there is no time to do such practice. So if you make the effort to become conquerors of Maya at the end, what would happen then? Bab Dada often tells you the story of the carrots. <coughs> So Baba is seeing our pose uh, in the remembrance. So Baba is just narrating it with a story of parrot. Baba says the parrot was told, do not sit on the tap. And it repeated the same thing while sitting on a tap. Uh, that sometimes Baba is telling the name of the parrot as a Gangaram, do not sit on the tap. But sitting on the tap only this, this uh, parrot was just uh, speaking, repeating. So Baba says in the same way, if by the end you had not practiced soul consciousness over a long period of time, your mind would keep thinking, I am a soul, I am a soul. Huh? Because in, in meditation, um, half a time we are taking to stabilize ourselves in soul consciousness. Uh, a stage. So Baba says, uh, this is your story only. Because Baba, daily Baba says, uh, try to be in soul conscious stage. Baba says, however, there will also be the influence of Maya. Even when you try to stabilize yourself in the stage of a soul, it will not be possible. So what do you have to do? Baba says, practice being a conqueror of Maya from now on. So if uh, we are not doing practicing, we should start it. Baba says, from, and in the yagya also, from that uh, time, that uh, one hourly med, uh, meditation to stabilize in one minute, uh, that, that has been started. So Baba says, the easy way to do this is to keep your spiritual personality in your awareness. If our personality in awareness, it will be easy for us to stabilize in our original form. So Baba says, what is the sign of those with uh, such personalities? The vision of those who have elevated personalities will never be drawn towards anything or anyone. Uh, this is also to be underlined. Baba says he, is, he will not be attracted by any material thing or by anybody's personality or in any anything. The reason will not be drawn towards others thinking. This is, Baba says, this one is like this, that one is like that, that one is doing this, this one is doing this, like that. Huh? So uh, that is what we are uh, doing now. So Baba is just observing. That's why Baba has to say these things. Baba says, why should I not do this? Why can I not do this? So why, why so many whys? So Baba says, those who have spiritual personalities are full of all attainments. Their, na their natures are full, their sanskar are full, and their relationships and connections are full. So Baba says, they are full, uh, so they, uh, they, they are not required anything. So they are satisfied, Baba says, contented, then, then their stage will be very nice. So Baba says they are overflowing. 
they will never experience a lack of anything in the treasure store of their attainments. Baba says, why? Because of having spiritual personalities and because of being constantly overflowing, they remain content. When you lack something yourselves, your vision is drawn towards the attainments of others. So do you lack anything? Baba says, what song do you sing? Nothing is lacking in the treasure store of Brahmins. You sing this song, Baba says, not with your mouth, but in your minds. Do you not? Huh? So those who sing this, raise your hands, Baba says. Acha, do you double foreigners sing this song? Baba is also asking to double foreigners. Acha, so today, Bab Dada was checking the personality of purity of all the children everywhere. You know the definition of personality very well. Baba says purity is not simply the vow of celibacy. Nowadays, Baba says, uh, many people why, who do not have this knowledge lead a celibate life due to their circumstances. Baba says due to circumstances also they observe celibacy. <clears throat> Baba says not because of this knowledge but due to the circumstances but because of their situation. Even many devotees remain celibate. That is not a big thing. However, check your purity throughout the day. The sign of purity is uh, now Baba says further. Baba says what's the definition of purity? The sign of purity is cleanliness and honesty. And so how clean, cleanliness, cleanliness further Baba is just making it clear. Baba says throughout the day in sitting, standing, speaking, doing service, whether physical or subtle. If there is the slightest deviation from doing it according to the system, then that is not cleanliness. That is, Baba says, it is not purity. So waste thoughts are also impurity. So what is covered in the definition of impurity? Baba is just uh, pointing out. Baba says, why you would have uh, waste thoughts, but you would not think that you had committed a sin or that you had caused sorrow for anyone. Uh, Baba says, uh, you may not have caused sorrow or committed any sin, but Baba says, however, if you did have waste thoughts and your time was spent in those, Baba says, if your thoughts were wasteful and you lost your contentment, then there would be a slight difference in the degree of your purity in your final stage. So we have to become 16 celestial huh, degree soul. So Baba says, if that something slight difference, Baba is my, my today checking very minorly. Baba says there should not be a slight difference in your uh, degree. You would not be able to become 16 celestial degree full. You would either be 15 celestial degree, 14 or 15 and half degree. So you will be number wise. Huh? Then you will be number wise, not number one. Impurity is not simply causing sorrow for someone or committing a sin. However, if you experience cleanliness and honesty in yourself, according to the system, you, Baba says, then you are pure. So if words just emerge when you do not wish to say them, what would you call that? Are, Baba says, are you the masters then? Therefore, from Amrit Vela until night, check your thoughts, words, deeds, and services. Baba says, you will say, it was not my mind, it was not my intention to speak. But as a sanskar, as a habit, I spoke it. So Baba says, then you are not master, means you don't have control over your organs. That is what Baba wanted to say. Baba says, do not check the gross. Now, how to check the weaknesses? That also Baba today had. Baba is going very, very deep today. Baba says, do not check the gross form. If you only check the gross form, then the sign of that is the huge bow and arrow of the 
moon dynasty, whereas the sun dynasty sign is just a small fluid. So what will be your number, where you will go in sun dynasty or moon dynasty, that indication also today Baba has given. Baba says if you will chalk in a gross form, then you will go in the moon dynasty. Now the sign is bow and arrow. Baba, further Baba is explaining uh, the the importance, the sign of the that uh, instruments. Baba says the flute is so light and the bow and arrow is so much hard work. Uh, how hard work? First of all, you have to aim at the target and you also have to carry a burden, a uh, burden on your shoulder. Whereas look at the flute, just dance, sing, laugh and play. Uh, it is given to Sri Krishna. It means he is first prince of Sun Dynasty. And that bow and arrow is given to Ram. So he is of Moon Dynasty. So where we will go by that indication, that sign Baba has today uh, pointed out. Baba says, therefore, neither adopt the gross form in your efforts nor in your checking. This gross form, Baba says, both in your efforts also and in your checking also. Now, have refined intellects because the time is suddenly going to end. It will not warn, warn you in advance. Uh, so the Baba has given a warning today. So we should be very serious. Baba says, Baba has already told you beforehand that you must not complain and say, Baba, why did you not tell us in advance? Baba says, that time, no question. Baba has already warned. The father will never make you time conscious. Baba says, Baba knows uh, at what time what is going to happen. But Baba will not tell the time. Huh? So many students, many children, they ask Baba when this uh, destruction will take place. Baba says, uh, I am not giving you time. You have to fix the date. Baba says, if I will tell, then you will be time conscious. So you now have to become a complete diamond. You have made this promise, Baba says, have you not? Do you wish to celebrate the Diamond Jubilee or to become a diamond? Because nine, in 1995, about 60 years were to be completed of the Yajna. So uh, we were to celebrate Diamond Age. So that's why Baba says, you want to become a diamond or you, you want to celebrate it? What do you wish to do? You have to become and you have to celebrate. Uh, so Baba says first become diamond, then you have to celebrate. You have to do both together. Next year, Baba Dada will check whether you fulfilled your promise or whether you just uh, sweetened your mouth. So who are you? Are you those who just uh, say this or those who also do it? Uh, Baba says, Acha, look, the picture of all of you is being recorded on the TV because huh, it was in Santi when the second Mela, it was second Mela. So everywhere the TVs were also placed. So Baba says your picture is being recorded on the TV. Do not let her change by saying that it wasn't you. Baba says don't say that it was not my picture, that you didn't say it. It is good to become this. And so what should you do about something that is good? Baba says, should you do that quickly or take time over it? You should do it quickly. Baba says, should you not? Can you become ever ready in a second? Can you become bodiless in a second? Or will you have to battle and think? Baba says, no, I am, a, I am not a body. I am not a body. It is not like that. It, Baba says, is it? It should happen the minute you think about it. And then Bab Dada performed a drill for some minutes huh, to uh, stay in, to stabilize in bodyless stage. Baba says it feels good. Huh? After drill, Baba says it feels good, does it not? So throughout the day, practice this every now and then. No matter how busy you are, Baba says definitely practice being bodyless for even a second again and again. For this, none of you can say that you are busy. Baba says, you have to take a second out. You have to practice this. Now further, very important thing Baba says, if you are talking to someone, if you are carrying out a task with others, also make them 
perform this drill for a second. So we have ourselves also we have to do it. We have also get it practiced to others also because those who experience this more and more and practice being bodiless according to the time will be able to claim a high status. Uh, this is also to be underlined. Baba says if you will practice uh, of bodyless uh, stage, Baba says, then you will be able to claim a high number. You have already been told that the completion of time will be sudden. Once you have the practice of being bodyless, you will instantly have the vibrations of the completion of time. So see how God is telling Baba says, if you will constantly have the vibration of the completion of time, so the, from that uh, energy, that vibration, we, we can make out. Baba says, when the time is coming. See, these animals also, they are having that sense. They can pick up from the vibration. So we are human beings. Baba says, uh, you, your state should be like that. Therefore, practice this form now on. Do not think that the Diamond Jubilee is next year and so you will not do it now that you will do it later. Huh? Because you are busy for the preparation, Baba says that balance should be there of self and service. So the more time you add to the period of a long time, the higher the number you will claim in the attainment of the fortune of the kingdom. If you practice this every now and then, you will easily and automatically experience a powerful stage. The efforts that you have to make over Tribal matters will easily finish. Acha, Baba says, are all of you happy and content? Or will you have to be asked, are you mothers happy? Very good. You have arrived at the Mela from everywhere. You have received a good chance. Baba says, have you not? Otherwise, you have to wait for your date and wonder, wonder when you turn will your, your turn will come. Because earlier in Mount Abo, that that uh, hall was small, about 3,000 capacity. Accordingly, the accommodation was also not sufficient. So everybody was given uh, in a waiting list time. But uh, after this Santi one is opened, Baba says that uh, you are that was offer that uh, Daddy has told uh, all teachers that you can bring these students uh, whatever you want. That's why Baba says, are you happy? Some problems were there uh, initially, but uh, otherwise everybody was happy. So Baba was asking. Baba says, this time it was an open invitation. Is everyone all right? Are you living comfortably? You are experiencing the unlimited. Baba says, are you not? Or are there some uh, difficulties? Did the old mothers not experience any difficulty? You will only get some food when you stand in a queue. Huh? There was no beds also that times. Everybody was going with their own bedding from home. So some facilities were not there. Baba says, do you not get tired standing in a queue? Do you enjoy it? When you, Baba says, when would you ever find such a huge family? So you are happy to see your family, are you not? This Mela is better than the Melas of Path of Devotion. Baba says, is it not? Should we increase this Mela two more days? Or will there be the expense of the buses? Huh? Because we have to consider the tickets. You have to rebook it again. Baba says, will you not remember your homes and your jobs? There had to be some newness. And so this Mela was something new. You have now experienced newness. The same old things will not continue. There has to be something new. Do you like something new or something old? You like new things. Baba says, do you not? Achha. Now we, Baba is giving uh, remembrance to the souls, to the, uh, it means the and essence of this entire Murli. Baba says, to the special souls everywhere who have the spiritual personality of purity, first. Second, to the elevated souls who reveal the sparkles of their personalities from the beginning to the end. To the world transformation, third, souls who transform themselves and the world with their powers of purity. Uh, Baba says cleanliness and honesty. 
to the to the experienced souls who experience the practical instant fruit of doing service as instrument bab dada's love remembrance and namaste we also say our love and say good morning and namaste to uh, the mother father bab dada mithe mithe sikhile the bachcho prati mat pita bab dada ka yaad pyar aur good morning ruhani bab ki ruhani bachcho ko namaste हम रूहानी बच्चों की रूहानी मात पिता बाप दादा को याद किया गुड मॉर्निंग और नमस्ते नाउ दादी जी बाबा इज स्पीकिंग टू दादी जी बाप दादा स्पीकिंग टू दी दादी वॉज द मेरा ऑल राइट देर बाबा सी इज देर वेर नॉट एनी डिफिकल्टीज वेर देर देर डिफिकल्टी इज सक्सेस विथ एवरी वन प्योर थॉट्स एंड जील एंड एंथुजियाजम the thoughts of this gathering are such that they finish any lack of success baba says example baba is just giving the fort is weak when any brick in the fort shakes whereas when all the bricks are strong the fortress cannot shake you have victory then so there baba says too so here too your success is guaranteed because of the gathering because of your zeal and enthusiasm your elevated thoughts and cooperation uh, baba says due to your cooperation your zeal enthusiasm your elevated thoughts this mela has uh, become a success so it was very good and the time from time to time you will continue to experience this and this is this is uh, we can take it as blessing of baba baba says previously you used to question whether it would be possible or not the power of the gathering definitely gives you the blessings of being embodiment of success so bab dada always says good morning and good night acha the double foreigners lands are flying baba says are they not it is good om shanti so thank you very much baba now blessing from baba baba says may you be seated on your immortal throne and so the heart throne and by becoming a self sovereign a master of yourself make your physical sense obey to your orders baba says you are master you are seated on the your uh, your throne so you have to control your physical and subtle organs then only baba says you can be called as Ah, uh, seated on your immortal throne, immortal throne, and on heart throne of Baba. So Baba is explaining, I am an immortal soul seated on the heart throne. That is, I am a self-sovereign king. When a king is seated on his th- throne, all his servants obey his orders. When you are seated on your throne, your physical senses automatically work under your orders. Those. who are seated on their immortal thrones always have the father's heart throne this is because why considering yourself to be a soul you remember the father and there is then nobody nor any relations of the body nor possession of the bodies the one father is your world and this is why you are automatically seated on the heart throne of the immortal father the slogan for today to imbibe the powers to decide to discern and to adopt is to become a holy swan so uh, baba has given this self respect of holy swan but who can be holy swan who has the powers uh, to examine to decide and to adopt that uh, that thought in practice accordingly baba ji he is called a holy swan om shanti so we will remember baba for a minute and finish the mo